Hello, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley, and welcome to this video. This is the card I have to share with you today. It's a double Z fold card, as you can see. There you can see the Z, the double Z. It just opens up like that, and the fold flat for posting and a normal A6 C6 envelope, and you can see it just stands up like that. So this one I've done here is Coastal Cabana, is the card base and then I've stamped here in Pretty Peacock and this little pretty swan paper is from the Delightfully Eclectic um, paper pack. So we're going to do a different colourway this time, so that's that one. So let's set that aside and see what we're going to do next. Next one we're going to do is going to be here in um, Calypso Coral. So I've cut here an A4 sheet in half just down on the short side so it measures 10.5 centimetres so I've just cut on the 21 centimetre side at 10.5 and you've got the full length of the A4. We're going to do a little bit of scoring and I'm just going to use my trimmer for this, it's just easier for me. And we're going to score this in half. And that means we're going to score what I call 14.85 centimetres, which is just below 14.9. And remember, your scoring blade is the light grey blade. Okay, so you're going to do that. Fold off our score line. And there should have a uh, piece of paper should be now a side folding card, just like that. And then I'm going to take this front flap and I'm going to bring it back on itself to meet the hinge. Now you could score here if you wanted to, but I find this is the easiest way for me to get it absolutely precise, or as precise as possible. And then I'm going to use my bone folder to make that score line. Just like that and give it a really good press down. And there you can see we've got the start of our Z fold card. Okay, so let's bring some of our matting pieces in now. So I've got lots of pieces here and I've got pieces of basic white that we'll start off with. Let's move those to the side and there we go. I've got my designer series paper as well. So I've got pieces of basic white. And these measure, if I remember off the top of my head, 10 centimetres by 7.4 centimetres. And I've got four of those to do the flaps one, two, three, four. So let's stick all of these down. And this just helps, I find, the designer series paper to pop from the background because it is the same colour tone. So this way it'll pop more easily. So let's put all four down. Whoops, there goes my seal. I need to put a refill in, not now. I'm going to switch over to my trusty Tombow instead and faff with my seal afterward. Okay. I've got plenty of, of refills because whenever I place an order, I try to always add a refill to the order and if I never run out. Okay. And this is actually a card we made in my online car club. I host two types of car club. I have an online one in my Facebook group for people where if you're not local to me you can still craft with me. And then I have an in-person one as well uh, that I run from my home in North Lincoln. So if you are close if you are close to me local do consider coming along i'd love to meet you and if you're not local then maybe think about joining my um online version all the details you're able to find on my website and you'll find the link to that in the description box below Okay, so now I just put down an insert and that just measures 14.35 centimetres by 10. So that's all of that down. So now we're going to stick down our pieces of designer series paper. And this is also the delightfully eclectic paper. And 
I just cut these pieces to be slightly smaller than my basic white pieces. Now all the measurements for this card will be on the blog post on my website. And of course, as usual, you can find the link in the description box below for that as well. You can also find all the supply lists there as well. It's all linked below for you. So if there's anything that takes your fancy, it should all you should find all the information below. So let's just stick these down. You can see here how the piece of white really just does help this pattern paper pop from the background. I think my Tombow is also near its end of its life. I need a new one of those too. Ah, I've been crafting too much, haven't I? <laughs> Okay, last but not least, last one. Okay. There we go. So there we've got our lovely strawberries this time. I do love this paper. It's really cute. When I saw it in the catalogue, I wasn't sure, but having it in person is so different to seeing it on a piece of paper. I really do like it. It's really cool. Okay, so now we're going to make our second part of our Z fold, which is here. And I'm going to show you how to do this the easy way. Now I've got a piece here of Clips of Coral cardstock, and this measures two and a half centimeters by the full length of an A4 sheet. And I'm going to take it and I'm just going to do this the lazy way. Instead of scoring, I'm going to do it the lazy way and just fold it in half. And I'm going to use my bone folder to get that really nice crisp fold that you want. So you've got that. So if you look on our original, you'll see you have a straight piece, which is here. And then you have this piece here that folds back on itself. So this piece is going to fold in and meet that fold in the center and score. And fold that and that will then make a piece that fits really nicely to make our double Z fold card like that okay now we can add some white now I've got a piece here again of white that measures a full length of an A4 sheet and this is measuring two cent one and a half centimeters long so it will go in the center here and normally I would do this, measure this, but I'm going to do this by eye. I just find it's easier to do it this way. I find it's easier to measure in a funny way than measuring using a ruler. So I'm just going to look for a pencil if I can find one. Here was one. I'm just going to measure roughly where it needs to stop. Just somewhere around then. And then I'm going to just cut that. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to live on the wild side and cut this by hand. You can obviously use a trimmer if you want. There we go. That will do me. That will look fine. And then I'm going to do the same for this piece here. We're going to just center it, find where we want. This is where our fold is here, and I can see it even if you can't see it on the camera that well. I'm going to cut this piece again, and then last but not least, this one here. And you can measure all of this as I said if you wish, but I can't be bothered today. Okay, we have our three pieces then. So now we can map these onto our white piece of car, onto our band. Okay. So, just center it like that 
and then I'm going to take our next piece and we're going to center it again I can see I've got a little bit of pencil mark showing I should have put glue on the other side you can just rub that out if you can find a roof a rubber, here's one. There we go. And then make sure here I put it on glue on the side that has a pencil mark. Okay. And there you have your band. So now we're going to fit this to our card. It's going to go roughly along here. And roughly along there so I'm going to put glue until about there wherever it was that I me measured just now and forgot straight away looks about right well nice soon enough all right that's fine I haven't put the glue too far along can always add it it's much more difficult to take it off and then we're going to put glue on the back of this last little panel here okay and let me show you what to do you're going to fold it so it's going to be like it would be closed and then just fold that down and press and there you've got your double Z fold card all easy peasy I've got a bit of glue there so I'm just going to use my rubber get rid of that really simple so let's set that all aside and do a little bit of stamping why not I have a scrap piece of basic white and I'm going to bring in my clips of coral I'm going to bring in first stamp set is this one darling details and we're just going to use a little sentiment that says happy birthday so let's stamp in our clips of coral ink tap 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 make sure it's nicely inked up down Hold, hold. Oops, smudged it despite all of my trying to be careful. Not the end of the world. We've got more. We've got always a chance to do it again. Yeah, there we go. Give this a little clean up. And set that aside and then we're going to stamp some hearts using this little heart here so actually let's first punch out our piece and we're going to punch it out using the double oval punch just center it in the punch and punch don't waste that you can use that on another project and then I'm going to take a scrap piece here of clips of coral and I'll punch out the top piece and clips of coral and then we're going to stick one to the other okay just like that Center it, and then we're going to stick this here on our belly band or our little Z fold band. I put the glue rather on my band so it doesn't go everywhere. So if it wants to come out, as I said, my Tombow is near the end, but I'm determined to get as much out as I can. So stick that down, try and hopefully keep it as centered as possible. There we go. And now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So as I said, I've got this little heart and I'm going to stamp it in Clipso Coral Ink. And we're going to just stamp 
give it a little bit of didn't do that very well but it's a clear stamp so you can just see straight through it and rectify the problem like that and then just stamping wherever I want I think here I stamped all the way along the back. Be careful, as I said, you just saw I nearly had my card in my my sink. That's why I'm trying to always close up while I'm not using it, so you don't have disasters like that. Just tap, tap, tap. There we go. We've got all of those done. So let's bring back our chamois and have a little clean. Give it a good clean. So we can take this off our block and we're going to use the outline heart here as well so let's put this one away it's such a small little stamp that I tend to try and put it away straight away otherwise something small like that it's definitely going to get lost unless you try and be careful so we've got our outline and I'm just going to stamp this down at the base here sort of filling in gaps Okay, close up the zinc pad before there is an accident. And there is our card. So that's one Z fold card. And that's the other one there. You can see, folds in, folds out like that. So I hope you enjoyed the project. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want more information about the project, supplier list, measurements, etc. It's all on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.